Hello everyone! In the newly released version of Cascadeur, which is 2024.2, there's a new autophysics feature that helps you animate characters hanging down from various objects. In its core, it's another type of fulcrum points. They work mostly the same, however, there are some differences. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with this new feature on a very simple example. So first of all, I'm going to open up one of the sample scenes. Also, I'm going to create a bar for the character to hold on to. Since it's a primitive object, I'm going to go to Commands, Add Cylinder. Make sure you add it to a new layer, but feel free to import any geometry you might need. I'm quickly going to scale it down and rotate it. By the way, if you want to snap the rotation to any specific value, in the scene settings, go to Manipulators and set Fixed Rotation Step. So now this bar is just a simple mesh without any joints or any collisions. So to have our character interact with it, we have to add a collision object to it. So first go into Mesh Mode to select it, then go to Commands, Collision, Add Capsule. Once created, the collision object will be visible in the Rig View. So there it is, it is indeed a capsule. However, it doesn't really match the size, does it? To edit its parameters, you have to select the object it belongs to, then in the Object Properties, navigate to Capsule Collision. There you can change its size, position and rotation. Now most importantly, in the collision material, we have to change the collision type from surface to pin. Now, in any intervals where the character's points will come close enough to the bar and not move around too much, they will be considered as the points of interaction. Visually, it's gonna work the same way as the fulcrum points do. The points will be outlined green in the viewport, and there's going to be a green line above the timeline on the intervals where the interaction occurs. Or a yellow bar if only one hand is interacting. Overall, these points can be adjusted the same way as any other fulcrum points in the scene. So select the points, go to the Object Properties and under Fulcrum Point tab, you can adjust their collision radius and max speed. So collision radius represents the radius around the point within which it will interact with collision objects and max speed is the distance the point can travel within a frame and still be considered as fulcrum. Here you can see how autophysics slightly corrects the position of the character in specific frames, all while trying to preserve the initial poses. To get the best result out of this kind of animation, we recommend to use additional filters such as compensation motion. and secondary motion as well. In more complex scenes, Autophysics will have no problem working with both collision types in the single animation. With the fulcrum points that collide with the surface, and with those, the collision type of which is set to pin. 